Jose, let's start with a player rewards night last Wednesday. How big a night was that for you and how proud were you to win two awards? Yeah, immensely because um, of all that we've been through together, you know, all the history that we have and the past and all the wins and the success that we've had along these years. Um, it, it means everything. Uh, winning it from your own teammates is special. And obviously the fans, you know, we had such a great relationship throughout the years and they supported me and uh, they make me feel like this is my place, this is my home and it means everything. So I'm very pleased and I'm very honoured that um, I was given these two awards. But as I said before, I think um, it would be fair as well if uh, many other players would be in that stage receiving some awards because there were some tremendous uh, performances this season from a few players and um, it, w it would only be fair that um, you know they get something as well because they, they was outstanding. The fan one sticks out because of the fact you have been on this journey with them, haven't you, from League One to the Premier League? Yeah, maybe they uh, acknowledge that um, you know we've been we've been through a lot and uh, I've stuck I've stuck uh, with them and they stuck with me and um, we achieved so many great things. So you know it's it's uh, it has been a great journey, as I said, and um, I hope we can still have a few chapters left and, and even better than the ones that we, we've had. On a personal note, what a season it has been for you. It has been, yeah, it has been great because um, we have the joint best defence in the league so far. One game left, I know it's a tough one and uh, it'll be hard to keep a clean sheet, but we, you know, we, we believe in ourselves and we'll be trying to do that. Um, but it's a team effort, you know. I, I've had a good season, but only because as well my teammates had a very strong season. And alone, no one can do anything. So. We're, uh, we're a great team and uh, that's the most important thing, that uh, everyone plays his part and we're lucky that this year everyone was at a very, very high level. If there's any extra motivation needed, perhaps keeping that joint best defensive record or even getting the best this season is something for the defenders, especially going into Sunday. Well, the motivation is, uh, is there, you know, even today in training was, um, you know, was, was very, very high standard in training. We trained really hard because... We know what's at stake. Uh, we know that the other two teams had, have uh, hard games as well. And if we can get a good result uh, on, Saturday, on Sunday, we, we're in with a good shot to finish um, higher than we are now. How big was that result last weekend t to take into this final game of the season? Massive. Uh, gave us great confidence. And, uh, coming off two bad results and disappointing that um, we didn't took the, the full points in both games. I think um, you know it's frustrating that we didn't manage to get it, but uh, we moved on. And in front of our fans, we put on a great show, uh, scored six. The fans enjoyed it. Um, beautiful goals, beautiful football, and puts us in a great place to go to Man City and try and achieve what uh, what we want. Do you see that added confidence on the training ground the first day you come back after such a good victory? I feel people relaxed. I feel people are. Uh, enjoying and, and with smiles in their faces so definitely uh, helps the mood in the in the dressing room. Manchester City of course don't have anything to play for now because of the result at Arsenal on, on Wednesday night. What does that do for them going into this game on Sunday? It's true that uh, they cannot go, abo uh, go up or down in the, in the table but it's also true that it's the last game in front of their fans, so they, they have something to play for. They, they need to put a performance for their fans and to finish the, the season in a, in a good way. So we expect a tough game. We don't expect any, any easy games, any facilities. So we're going to go there knowing that we're in for a, a hard game, but we, we're ready for that and we will be giving our best to, to get a result. It's already the highest ever finish in the Premier League, but knowing you could finish fifth, just riding on 90 minutes on Sunday, how big is that as players? It's like a cup final, so we, that's, that's the way we're looking at it. It's, um, it's a massive game for us. Expectation is high, and um, although it's against former champions, we, we have uh, belief in ourselves and we want to go there and, um, as I said before, um, bring a positive result. Is there perhaps something to prove as well? Because the defeat against them at St Mary's this season was probably the mo most disappointing of the season. Yeah, perhaps the, ho the only game that uh, we felt disappointed that we didn't perform at our level. Um, we've proved against any other team that we can compete and we can win games. We won against Man United away, Arsenal at home, drew against Chelsea both games. And against Man City was disappointing that uh, 
we didn't perform well enough and uh, they was better than us on the day. Even with 10 men, they was better than us. So in that way, it was very disappointing and uh, for sure we want to put that right on next Sunday. How do you approach a game on Sunday where Liverpool and Tottenham's results could affect you? Is it just a case of focusing on your own and not worrying about what exactly. they're doing? No, there's no point in trying to, uh, trying to know what the other clubs are doing because we have a tough job in our hands. So we need to make sure we do our job. And then we go into the dressing room and we'll ask um, what's going on in the other places. And if, if we get a good result and if the, the other results go for us, you know, happy days. When you look back over the season as captain, how proud does it make you? Um, very, because all that uh, was said before and the predictions that uh, people was making that we was going down and stuff like that, it really, um, um, you know, really gave us even more strength to, to prove everyone wrong and to prove that the people that stayed here had value, had, uh, had quality and, uh, and that's what we did, you know, the manager came in, uh, did a great job alongside his staff. The, the, the board did a great job in recruiting players and, and the fact is we brought very good quality players and we managed to to gel and and to be and to achieve something very special you know the, the, as you said we have one of the best uh, seasons in the Premier League if not the best.